Today I'm going to show you how to do a recurring or repeated percentage problem and this is using decimal multipliers. So here are the three steps we need to follow then. So first of all we need to get our decimal multiplier and you do this by adding or subtracting your percentage to or from 100%. So if you're doing an increase you add it on to 100, if it's a decrease you take the percentage away from 100. Uh, the second step then is to convert the percentage into a decimal and you do that by dividing the percentage by 100 so this will give you your decimal multiplier and then the third and final step is to multiply the amount by your decimal and if you're doing it for two, three, four years you do to the power of this amount of years so let's have a look at the, an example here so Kai's bought new for £17,000 so for the next three years it loses 9% of its value per year. So how much is the car worth after three years? So since it's losing value this is a percentage decrease question. So our first step then is to take the percentage away from 100. So this will give us 91%. So the second step then is to convert the percentage into a decimal by dividing this percentage by 100, so 91 divided by 100 is 0.91. So this is our decimal multiplier. So our third and final step then is to get the amount which is £17,000 and we're going to multiply it by the decimal multiplier which is 0.91. However, since it's over a three year period, we need to put the three on the top of the 0.91 so we do 0.91 cubed so if we just type this on our calculator we get 17,000 times 0.91 cubed and we get an answer of 12,811 pound that's to the nearest pound thanks for watching